Hello everybody, it's Daffy Duck 91 here from Not A Gamer Gaming, and we are on day seven of my bombshell series. This is Horde Night. Uh, a little tip on Horde Night. So the idea is, is Genosis and I will be doing it separately, but near each other so that we can see the chaos unfold. Uh, therefore, he is probably going to come over here since I've already started my base, and he will build somewhere near me so that I can see him, maybe over there. Um, it's kind of inconvenient for him. He's got to do a bit of the grunt work and traveling. Whereas I, uh, I live right here because yeah, I started the map winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right. Fun story. Last night, I'm just going to upgrade while I talk, but last night, um, I had a wandering horde happen upon me. They, uh, <laughs> wandered upon me, if you know what I mean. And yeah, I did not have walls up here. And it has been suggested to me a few times in the comments about how the walls are lackluster. They would definitely go around them, which is what they did. So I built, I built these walls. Uh, I'm going to go down here and upgrade down here right away. Just because they'll be bashing on the walls. Um, I want to keep them in here as long as possible for the horde. But yeah, so I built up those walls. Um, I added some bars on the top there just for the danger chickens. We don't want them to um, eat us. I don't even know if there are danger chickens on day seven, but we are prepared nonetheless. I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly upgrade as much of the base as I can this morning before I head to the trader. All right, I've got the pit upgraded to the second level of cobblestone or flagstone. I'm just going to go ahead, upgrade around here so that if the zombies are tempted to bash on the sides, they have a little bit more work ahead of them. All right, I'm out of cobblestone. That is just freaking lovely because I'm not done yet. I do have the ability to make cobblestone, but I'm using my crafting queue to make gunpowder. Gunpowder takes a ridiculously long time to craft. I did spend all night just grinding and mining to get coal and nitrate, but I did that all night. And then, yeah, it has taken a while for it to craft. I'm my inventory, but that's not a big deal. What I'm going to do now, uh, I'm going to head off to the trader. So I'm going to drop anything in here that I don't necessarily need right now. Oh, actually, before I go into crazy, let's go ahead and make more pipe bombs. Again, we need as many as possible. Right now, I only have um, 15. Well, now we have 25. Uh, let's make some more because we're going to need as many of these as humanly possible. So I'm going to make another seven. Like I said, I have gunpowder continuously crafting on me. So hopefully we'll have quite a bit ready for when the horde does come. Um, for points wise, I did level up and have one point. I'm actually going to go ahead and put that into demolition expert, uh, explosive, explosives handler. So you are now an explosives handler, increased damage by 20%, reload speed, 20%, aim 20% faster, hundred percent chance to stun enemies and a 10% greater chance to dismember unlocks dynamite crafting. Dynamite crafting is basically useless to me. I don't want to, um, craft anything with dynamite because all it does is destroy blocks it doesn't necessarily give me any benefit for killing zombies but we need to gear up we need to get ready to go to the trader so i'm just going to go through my stuff here and see if there's anything i want to sell him all right we're here at trader wrecked my least favorite trader he would have reset his stuff right now so it's day seven it was reminded to me in the comments that he did have gunpowder. Okay, I honestly, you I just didn't think to look room? for gunpowder, but that is smart. a good thing. Don't you? Here's your uh, pay, I think I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to get the leg armor. Let me see here quick if I actually need leg armor. Uh, yes, it seems better. Let's take the mod off of this. I am just going to go ahead and repair that leg armor quickly and then sell it to him repaired. I don't know if it's going to increase it drastically, but it never hurts to try. I'm also going to do, 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 sell him all of my extra stuff. I need to... No, that did not change the price at all. That was great. Okay, hold on. I'm going to go quickly and sell him some stuff. All right, so I've sold him as much as I can. I have seven grand. 
I'm going to quickly peruse. Mm, I can't wait to get a rocket launcher. I'm going to peruse and see what ooh, rocket launcher parts. Can you find them? <gasps> four by four truck, 54 bucks or $54,000. I can't afford that. Ugh. Okay. Um, let me just quickly check over his stuff. And then I really need to kill whatever's beating on the door because it's driving me nuts. Oh, niblets. I didn't even realize this, but there's a working chemistry station here. Okay, 27 minutes. I just want to see how long it would take to make gunpowder on the chemistry station instead of where I am. Oh, I need wood. Oh, gosh. Do I, oh, here, I have frames. Okay. So, 24 minutes. Mix. 20. Okay, so it's still going to take the same amount of time, but it is going to give me more gunpowder. I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to run and do that quest. I'm going to leave that gunpowder there. And then when I get back from doing the quest, the gunpowder will be all mine. And then I will make more, um, more pipe bombs. But I should go do that quest right now. It's a little, where is it? It's down the road this way. Genosa seems to have made his way to the base to get ready to start building. But I'm not even going to go say hi to him. I'm going to skip on down this way, get to that quest and grab all that gunpowder by the time I get back. I did not realize there was a working chemistry station inside the trader, but that is super duper handy. All right, so I've made my way into the desert interesting a lot enough. I just cut across all of these mountains to get here. It was a bit of a pain. Um, and it looks like I'm in the trailer park. I think that's what this is, or one of the trailer parks. This would be an interesting place to do a playthrough, I think. Like, you wouldn't be allowed to leave the trailer park. I think that'd be kind of a fun playthrough. Maybe one day eventually. Where did that airdrop fall? Ooh. Save waypoint. Do you think... Is he going to get it? Is he getting it? He's totally getting it. What a flippin'. Well, I guess it's technically his prerogative. I'm already super encumbered. I'm gonna start the quest. Place the bedroll. Uh, I'm not going to be too picky about loot um, because I'm already basically encumbered and I do not want to be encumbered for my walk home. So it's noon now. I need to get through here, clear the area. Ooh, there's going to be lots of juicy, uh, what you call it in here, seeds. All right, let's clear the area. Come here, lady. All right, I'm pretty sure I've cleared out this place. I'm gonna loot it quickly, um, and then we need to head back home. I don't know how much of the loot I'm actually going to keep because I'm already, man, I hear something close. I'm already super encumbered, so let's just do this as quickly as we can. All right, so we've looted this entire place. I'm super encumbered. I'm going to have to sacrifice a few things if I wanna get home on time, which means I'm going to be doing quite a bit of scrapping. So let's just scrap as much as I can, and then we're going to start the long, the long walk home. Um, and get to the trader. And when we get there, we need to grab all of the gunpowder that should have been made. And then head home as fast as humanly possible so that we can finish getting ready for the horde. Whew, it's going to be a long, hot, very encumbered walk home. Yeah, there are just some things I'm going to have to just sacrifice and not take with me. It, it's going to be oh, my paint. Yeah, that hurt. That hurt a whole bunch. Okay, let's head home. No time to spare. I bet you Genosis. Yeah, little bugger. He got that drop. That's fine. Teach their own. I need to get back to the trader and then back to base. All right, so we made it finally back to the trader. I had to drop quite a bit of stuff not to be encumbered. I did manage to eat some things. Uh, to get my health and my water up, which was okay. Ooh, look at that. Juicy. 11 more minutes. I'm honestly just going to leave that there to cook. I might as well just keep it there. There's no sense in me dragging my butt all the way back over to Rex just to get that gunpowder. I'm going to have to wing it with what I have. Um, I did pick up a buried supplies quest, which is right there. It's not a million miles away, but I'd honestly rather get ready for the horde before I even think about it. I'll leave it as something to do either today or tomorrow. But really, I need to go home and make as many friggin' pipe bombs as humanly possible. Ow, what the heck? Hey! 
Hey, stud. Uh, uh, wow. Oh, hey. Uh, you could have, like, said hello without stabbing me. That's a you thing, You don't right? even have a shirt on right now. I see your chiseled abs. Oh, God, you're what right. What are you uh, doing? This is interesting. Uh, I, I'm prioritizing. I, I just, I've had literally a day to play. So um, what you see is kind of what you get at this point. What? Your base is already done? Like, that's just ridiculous. No, 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 no. no. That not, is ridiculous. Okay, no. hey, hey, hey. In what? interest of our day seven not killing each other, I have a gift for you. You want it? I Can we do that? Yes. I, I Well, it's my game, my rules. I just said I could do it. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see what this gift you're bestowing upon me. In hoy. That that's a lot of feathers. I have no oh. use for them. They just sit and collect dust. So I figured I figured I'd be um, nice. Can I, can I, can I give you like these? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't need them. Um. Cool. I don't need them either. I will sell them. Thank you. I. Wow. Okay. Yeah. No. You're welcome. So that that, that was worthwhile giving all the feathers, and uh, so I'm cool with that. Are you hungry? Um. I actually have uh, a bit of dot canned food that I got from the supply drop over there. Are you thirsty? Um, I got seven bottles of water. I think I'm okay. All right. Bye. See you that later. That was awfully nice of you that I'm supposed to kill. Just don't kill me with any arrows you make with those feathers. Those are the rules. Oh, I, I don't know how to separate them. Bye. It might happen. Bye. Bye. All right. Now that I've serviced my husband, it is time to continue upgrading the base. Uh, so I had some cobblestone, which I gathered from good old wrecked. And by gathered, I mean I spent my hard-earned coin on it. I'm going to use that to keep up uh, grading the outside here. I'm also going to run and get inside the pit and use the concrete that I have to upgrade the inside of the pit as much as possible. Because the idea with this horde is that they are going to be gathering in the pit for an extended period of time and I'm going to drop bombs on them. So the, the last thing I want is for them to be able to bash open the pit, get to me, and then ruin my entire plan. Feeling? Feeling like a pro. I'm feeling pretty pro-ish right now. All right, not much time left. Here we go. Yeah, that didn't last. Yeah, that did not last very long, but we are upgraded. Oh, I still have a little bit of cobblestone left that I can use. Maybe I'll upgrade this little walkway and then a bit more on the outside. We are running out of time. I'm starting to feel quite a bit nervous. I need to get some shit done. Um, I know I have cement mixers and you'd realistically think I would have been prepared enough to have this base up to the cement level. But yeah, this is me we're talking about. I am not that pro. Okay, so I'm going to finish upgrading this. I'm going to grab the rest of my pipe bombs. I currently have like 52 on me right now. And then I will see you guys for Fortnite. All right, everyone. I have 66 bombs. I spawned in some lights. I don't know exactly how many of these I need. I might just have, yeah, let's just do those two. I'm going to toss it. I did spawn in some lights just so that we could get a better view. This is for recording purposes only. I know it's a tad shady, but you know, what can you do? I gave some to Jen too, but I want you guys to be able to see the chaos, which is, yeah, that's what this is going to be. I am super nervous. Okay. So the idea is here's the Horde Night rules for bombshell. One, I'm only allowed to use bombs. So if I run out of bombs, Bombs are explosive, so like I can use a rocket launcher, I can use my bombs, I can use landmines around the base, but if I run out of bombs, I need to try to survive until daytime, and only when it hits daytime can I use my spear to clean up the mess. So strategy says I'm going to allow them to gather a little bit down here, and then I will throw a bomb. So like when there's like a few of them, I don't exactly know how many, I know there's like eight that spawn in. But in the heat of the moment, I probably will not count. So, yes. <sighs> I'm nervous. I can't really see Jen's base. It's right there. There's not much I can see. But if we hear screaming or yelling, then he, like, died, which would be funny. We can always see it on the top. We are partnered or partied up. So I think we might be able to share some experience since we're so close, but we will see. Um, if you guys want to catch his Horde Knight, if you want to see his perspective... His version of this day will also be going out after mine. So do not fret. You will see both. That will be the fun of it all. Oh, God. Okay. Here we go. What the? Excuse me. What the fuck? I was just getting, <laughs> I was just getting your attention. I wanted to say hi. And good you luck. 
I'm nearly dead, you bitch. Oh, did that hit you? <laughs> Fucking. Sorry, love you. Bye. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I didn't think it was going to hit you. I just wanted to get your... Okay, good luck. Stop fucking hitting me with your stone arrows. Bye. Ow. <laughs> All right, there goes the bell. I'm literally shaking. I'm so nervous. The space is going to rock. In retrospect, some spider zombies may get in, but we're fine. The idea is let's let them gather. So let's just wait as they come in. Okay, go in the hole. One. Okay. Two. We got two. Three. Four. How many do we need? Is there more coming? We don't want them. Five, six. Okay, that should be enough. Seven. Throw that down there. Oh, beautiful. Okay, let's just get rid of this button. Oh, beautiful. All right, so really it's just a matter of... Oh, no, come on. Come on, girls. Come on. Oh, you little dum-dum. Get in the hole! I want to wait until a lot of them get in the hole, but at the same time, we don't want to wait too long because we don't want them to bash up the sides. But guys, come on. Seriously, this works great! Look at this! Oh, okay, let's see how many of these bombs that I can use up. I definitely hear beating. I just don't know where they're beating on right now. Ooh... That is an interesting concept. So I can throw one. Okay, so I can throw one like this. Then I can light one really loud. And then that's going to make a double explosion. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh, my God. I'm having. This is amazing. Okay, here we go. Let's wait till they round up again. Is Genosis shooting arrows? Through my hole right now. Is he seriously shooting arrows? Is he trying to help? He's giving him all this free experience. I guess it's kind of nice of him. All right, let's try this again. Throw one, light one, throw it. Ah, oh, love it. We need a camera angle down there. That would be so cool. Okay, hold on. Oh my god, this is like, this is almost inhumane. And this is so easy. Hashtag pro, hashtag pro. I'm so impressed with myself right now. Uh, and you get to see the dead zombies ragdoll again and again. One thing I might change, I wish there was a way that I could get a better angle at the zombies kind of coming towards me right here. Oh, they're really piling up right now. Ooh, baby. Another thing you can do is if they really start piling up, you can drop a bunch of un... What's the word I'm looking for? A bunch of unlit bombs and then just make a big, big explosion. I wonder the chances of me blowing myself up. Is that it? Did I do it? I think I did it. Oh my god, guys. That was so amazing! That was kind of boring. What do you mean? That was the most exciting time of my life! Uh, I mean, I killed like a good like half dozen or maybe ten zombies, and they all just kind of stopped, and I looked over, and you were just kind of blowing shit up. Did they, did they not go to your base? Did they come to me? They wouldn't have come to me. Well, no, no, they they did, and then they all died, and then uh, then it was done. Oh my god, babe! Oh, blah, 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 blah. I had so much fun. Okay, okay, get out of here, quick, go! <laughs> oh god, that was so much fun. Nah. Wow. Okay. There's there's an arrow in you, but we're just gonna ignore that. What do you mean? Well, I, I might have put an arrow in you at, well, at least once. No, 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 no. That was a pretty good bomb I just wasted on you. Okay, bye, 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 bye. Bye. All right, guys. That was that. Oh, my God. What a fun freaking horde. That was just so exciting. I like, And it happened so fast because you kill so many when you use the pipe bomb. I am pretty friggin' excited. Uh, okay, let me know what you guys thought of the horde base. Let me know of any more tips or tricks for the horde that you can think of. I know it's going to get harder, but we're just going to get more bombs. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm so satisfied right now. Anyway, we're ending the video. Don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. What's he doing? Is he in my base right now? What the fuck does he think he's doing? Hold on.
What's he doing? Oh, he's leaving. Okay. I'm paranoid. Anyway, guys, we are going to see you for day eight. Thank you so much. Catch you next time.